You know, we knew elevated levels of plutonium were found near a proposed road project near the old Rocky Flat site. Now we know they are very elevated in at least one spot. The state says that sample showed five times the amount of plutonium considered acceptable. Our Jeff Todd has been really leading the way with his reporting on the health issues linked to the former nuclear site. Jeff, not everyone agrees this new finding, though, will have an impact on the project. Jim, there is still analysis going on here at the Department of Public Health and Environment. We have talked to a lot of people over the past few days. This has kind of been described as like finding a needle in a haystack, and it's widely agreed upon that there are a lot of needles in this area around Rocky Flats, but it's not agreed upon on just how dangerous those are. I had known about uh, hot particles for a long time because it's one of the things that most commonly come, comes up. David Wood is a former physics professor at Colorado School of Mines. In retirement, he has poured over research at his home near the Rocky Flats Wildlife Refuge, even using a Geiger counter and getting soil sampled. They all came back uh, below minimum detectable amounts. He wasn't surprised to find out that soil sampling like this found a hot particle. You don't think this is a big deal? Not at all. Not in the slightest. You're very unlikely to inhale one, and even if you did, and they were all big ones like the 8.8 .8 micron, you could still inhale 60 of them and have a 1% impact on your cancer risk. There is plenty of evidence to suggest that there is an increased rate of disease downwind of Rocky Flats. Randy Stafford has also poured over studies and evidence as a member of the Jefferson Parkway Advisory Committee. We know there are at least one needle in the haystack. How many needles are in the haystack? And, and if, if those needles, those particles become airborne, construction workers could inhale them, downwind residents could inhale them, and in my opinion, they represent a public health risk. CDPAG said today that there is plenty that is still unknown. They have set up a hotline that people can call, and they're hoping to put out some answers to frequently asked questions in the next few days. But they definitely will continue to look into this sample and other ones that should be released in the next few weeks and months. We're live in Denver tonight. Jeff Todd covering Colorado first.